So I had a 2012 Camaro several years back and the exhaust sounds pretty similar to the base model in that V6 that I had, but it's just a little more, I guess, aggressive. But I'm gonna put it into sport mode and see if that changes things. Oh yeah, that is much, much better. I was about to say don't get the performance exhaust because it sounds just like the older Camaro. But uh, yeah, this is really nice. I'm gonna put it in manual mode and shift a few times. That's really, really nice. And this 10 speed just works wonders in this car. And I'm glad that they didn't decide to keep a, I guess a eight speed or something like that in here. They decided to put the 10 speed in this Camaro even though it's a V6 because you get those same super quick shifts that you get in every other vehicle that has a 10 speed from Chevy and Ford. And this is just, it's just so awesome, it makes me want to downshift. Like very quick. And a really controlled ride for the most part. I mean, it's actually really smooth coming down the interstate here. And the cool thing is I can really feel the road while not being uncomfortable driving. And if it were me, I would keep this thing in sport mode because if you're gonna have a Camaro, maybe if you are driving long distances or something for work, Maybe if you're just trying to save at the pump, but I would just keep this in sport mode. It's just so much fun to drive. And the sound is really, really good with this performance exhaust. And if I were to go ahead and buy a V6 Camaro, I should say a Camaro in general for 38 grand, this is how I do it. because it's no SS, but it's still fast enough for me because I'd rather save the twelve, thirteen thousand dollars $13,000 unless I just had the money to blow as opposed to an SS or maybe even get an LT1, but I'd rather have the options on this V6 with the RS package as opposed to getting an LT1 with cloth seats and no performance exhaust or something like that. So I would definitely this would be the way I do it. Exactly how this car is options, same color combo, everything. And what's crazy is even in sport mode, just cruising here, the cylinder deactivation is on. I gotta make sure I am in sport mode, yeah. And the cool thing about the sport mode here is when you put it in sport mode, it does wake up, but once it realizes you're just cruising and not gonna put your foot into it, it's like, okay, I'll chill for a minute, but I'm ready when you are. And most sport modes don't give you that, I guess, um, those same features. There's a better word I was looking for, but I can't think of it right now. but it's just crazy how quiet this car is. It makes me want to whisper. Just cruising here at 40. 
but all in all, I don't need the built-in navigation. The heated cooled seats are great. I'd like to have the heated steering wheel, but I don't need it, especially because I have the heated cooled seats and the AC vents I can just direct towards my hands while I'm driving. But just really impressed that the Camaro is still pretty feature heavy for the money. This one in particular. And this will bring me to the end of my review of the new 2023 Chevrolet Camaro 2LT Coupe.